Paul, you scared me to death. <laughs> what are you doing here? I just came by to say good morning. Good morning. At ease, soldier. You guys too. Corey's pissed. He's got a screw up his ass. You guys whoopy Christian last Corey's night. Corey's fucking pissed because Corey has hemorrhoids from sitting in this fucking chair for 12 hours. Oh, oh I sit in the same chair, buddy, okay? Yeah. Whoa. All right. Burner breacher. All right, I've got heat sensors and seismic activity. Protesters again. No, it's too early for that. <laughs> Jackrabbits. Shit. It looks like Easter out there. I can't figure out how they keep getting through there, you know? Kill it. Yeah, it's a false alarm. Thanks. Confirmation of the problem. We can override the system from here, sir. Sack again? Yeah. 
another relay glitch, and it's got to be at the linking station. Again? <laughs> yeah, ghost in the machine. I hate this crap. Well, what the fuck do you expect? The last time they updated any of this shit, Eisenhower was in office. By the way, Hicks, I left you a little reading material, so enjoy that. We need to find you a nice enlisted girl. <laughs> you know that, Corey? <laughs> then you can come in late every day. Fuck you. Tell you what, you can keep the nice girls. Leave me the bad ones, all right? Good night. Adios, muchachas. you're gonna have to turn around. This is a restricted area. Well, I don't know where. Seen Tillman's girlfriend yet? Yeah. Hey, hold on. Looks like we got some tourists again. Eh, don't worry about it. Davis will handle it. Where are you heading, sir? My wife. There's something wrong. What, what's the problem, sir? She's not breathing. She's not breathing. Call it in. Looks like those tourists left. minutes. 
You know what to do. Let's go! Getting nothing topside. What? Search him. Plug in. your uplink and return home. Copy. 15 minutes. And three, two, one. Wolf one, clear. Wolf two and four, clear. Two and four. Proceed to the next phase and all return. Major Tillman, my friend Sabian here would like to try out our new toy. I hope we are not imposing. Oh, cigarette? You know, 10, 15 years ago, getting these launch codes would have been impossible. But thank God for Western technology mm. and a little ingenuity. Ten little numbers and two little keys. Now, if I had all of these things, I would be sitting on quite a hefty stockpile. Wouldn't you agree, Major? When Sack finds out, it's all over. 
<laughs> I would not concern myself with that. See, we are not uh, robbing a convenience store here. It's called planning ahead. Look into it. Besides, less than 20 control personnel guarding the entire site. <laughs> 18 to be exact. Cold War is over, my friend. Anyhow, there was something I wanted to ask you. What was it? Ah, yes. I think you know what I want. And you know that I know that you know what I'm talking about here. You correct me if I'm wrong. I'll give you a little hint. First letter. <laughs> Second letter. Second letter. <laughs> You're no fun. Come on. Third letter. Put them together, Major. What do they spell? Please. <laughs> I really dislike violence. But you have us over a barrel. You see? No. Where is it? Okay. Fine. A man of honor, right? Bring her in. Well, well, you're a lucky man. A very lucky man, Major Tillman. But you're predictable. So, what do you say, beautiful? Does the Major talk in his sleep? No, you can trust us. Sounds like a cat got a talk. True. Does a pussy have your tongue? She doesn't know anything. Uh, Major, we're talking to her now, okay? Now I ask you a question. Paul! You know, I never really understood that expression. Does a cat have your tongue? Just... She's of no use to you. Don't worry, Major. We included you in our timetable, too, and we are way ahead of schedule. Stop. Fox, come in. We have a visitor. Who? Looks like a courier, Jim. I thought we were clear. We were. He was scheduled an hour and a half ago. Get rid of him. Stop. Morning. Sergeant Corgan. I need a signature on this one. What you got? Uh, classified. Um, signature match, eyes only for a Major Tillman. Hang on. The package is classified, Major Tillman. What's he talking about? We need a signature match, Major Tillman. Just kill him! We can't! Signature match requires the courier to call in to dispatch to verify delivery. If he doesn't call back in, it could be trouble. Fuck it, we're running out of time! If Riviera and Lucas aren't finished at the uplink, there's a chance Sack can override us. 
Echo one, how long? Five minutes. Loose ends. Okay, let him in. Perez, Becca, clean up. Anything funny happens? Children. Okay, go ahead. Morning, sir. Morning. Morning, sir. Morning. I just need you to sign right here. Okay. Handled like a true professional. Unfortunately, it cut into our playtime considerably, and we do have an agenda to follow. Now, if you don't produce the launch key by the count of three, our friend Mr. Kurtz will spray her head all over the walls, then yours. One. Please, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Tori, they want control of the nuclear warheads. Don't you understand? Oh, please don't tell me. I'm sorry. I had no other choice. He is gone. Stop that courier. Copy.
step out of the jeep, nice and easy. Folks, I got him. Very good. He's got one of the launch keys. Get it back here fast. Copy. It's been real. Wrong place, wrong time. I'm going up there. Ali, go with her. And bring me that key! Dispatch, come in. This is Corrigan. Sabian, I would like you to utilize all your intellectual prowess and technical wizardry to open this fucking door and shut off that goddamn alarm. That's going to take time. Besides, we have a bigger problem of our asses now. They know we're here. Ah! Corgan, you idiot! 
You're a dead man! Whoever the hell you are. Come in. This is dispatch. Where the hell have you been? I'm at launch control 814. We got a problem here. Contact someone at SAC. Strategic air command, are you nuts? What the hell are you talking about? Listen to me. I don't have time to explain. Just call SAC. Now. of you to show up, Major. What's the situation, sirs? As you may or may not know by now, we've lost contact with A-14, one of our launch control facilities at Ellsworth. That facility controls 20 Minutemen 3 ICBMs. Each with a 1.2 megaton nuclear warhead. We received a distress signal and then nothing. Override is inoperative. System malfunction? Yes, there's a billion to one chance of that. I'd say the inhibitor cables were dismantled. Expertly. By who? What's their objective? Well, their objective is obviously to I gain... I was addressing the question to Colonel Briggs, Major. Control of the missiles. It is unknown at this time whether or not they have possession of the uh, launch keys. Now, look, it doesn't matter anyhow, because they still need the launch codes, and the possibilities of them getting their hands on them is very unlikely. Why is it so unlikely, sir? The most recent security modification at that facility occurred in January, 1981. So what the hell is your point? My point is the same one I've been making for years regarding site security. I've already issued three reports this year. I'm well aware of your reports and your letters and your memos. And when we get the time, I'll be happy to sit down and discuss them with you. But right now, we have a situation on our hands. Joe, the Major may have a point. With advancements in, in computer technology and 13 years of potential security leaks... Colonel, if you have anything to say, say it. But you're not going to tell me that some hippie Greenpeace faggots are going to get in here and infiltrate trillion-dollar hardware. There's just no way in hell that's going to happen. Okay, Briggs. Put us on alert status. But I want special forces on that compound. Thank God. Now open the door. Not so fast, brother. Don't know what I'm shutting off, but I'm going down the line. We don't have time for that. We don't have a choice. So just sit back and relax.
Don't shoot. I'm so glad you're here. I thought he was going to kill me. The lines are still down. Keep trying. Let me know as soon as you hear anything. Major, hang on a second. I think we got something. Ellsworth dispatch call and said they have a courier at 814. Some Sergeant Nick Corrigan. And he has a radio. Who is he? I don't know. But he says he just took out three terrorists. Look, they wanted the launch keys. Major Tillman had one of them. I wouldn't give it to them, so... Well, they killed him. Does anybody copy? Over. If anyone is on this frequency, identify yourselves. This is Nick Corrigan. Listen to me, lady. I told dispatch to get me someone in charge. Now put some brass on the phone. You've got a real problem here. This is Major Marin at Strategic Air Command, Sergeant. We need information. Where the hell are you? I'm inside A-14. In case you haven't noticed, you've got a few guests here. Who are they? I don't know. I heard a name. Fox. Run the name Fox and get General Carmichael over here. Once I finish redirecting these hatch connections, I can cut the power locks. Time. Three minutes, tops. Stay cool. Ground defense systems are activated. We're locked in. Do they have the launch keys? I've got what you want. Understand? Repeat. I have one of the launch keys. My god, he's got it! This is General Carmichael. Now listen and listen good. I don't care what you have to do, but get that key to a safe place. That's an order. Yes, sir. I will get you out, but don't let them get their hands on that key. Do you understand? Understood. Keep them on the air. I'm going to contact Washington. Listen to me. Special forces are on their way. Just stay where you are. What else am I going to do? We have to go down there and help them. I've got my orders. You heard the general. So? Here. Thanks. Guys. And you must be the delivery boy. I'll keep you posted. General, Colonel, I've accessed our courier's records. 
Sergeant Nick Corrigan. Not now, Major. Sir, I think you're going to want to look at this. Are you sure you have the right files, Marin? Yes, sir. Come on, former Special Forces leader, covert ops. This is a mistake. No mistake. Look, his transfer to Courier followed a court-martial pretrial. Pretrial for what? It's unclear. His file's heavily doctored. Apparently, he rescued a U.S. commando team in Central America despite orders to pull out. They don't bust you down for that, Marin. They give you a goddamn medal. Well, like I said, it's heavily doctored. Sounds to me like he walked into a cover-up. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. You know, I think he's setting us up. Maybe. But if this is a hostile takeover, he's trained to survive and counterattack. You think you're pretty fucking smart, don't you? The world's a dangerous place. Can't be too careful nowadays. You're not bad. But you never stood a chance against us. It's called survival of the fittest. <sighs> Look into it. Now, I am going to ask you this once. Where is the key? Could you repeat the question? <laughs> Hey, we got choppers. Incoming. Uh, Ali! You two! You know what to do! Seal us up tight! Everyone else, downstairs! Me and you, sissy boy. Wait a minute. What are we doing here? Declaring our intentions. Rotate launch key on my mark. Two, one, mark. Now. Now it's time to answer the phone. Those sons of bitches have activated the launch sequence. So much for our hero. General, it's Nil. of Allah, a pleasant good morning. This is General Carmichael at Strategic Air Command. Who am I speaking to? You needn't concern yourself with that. I will merely tell you what we want in order for you to arrange it as quickly as possible. Uh, well, well, look, uh, we want to avoid any unnecessary tragedies. You understand. 
If there is the least amount of resistance on your part, the world will witness a great, great horror from the skies. As I said, I want to avoid any tragedies. But I have to know what you want in return. The brethren of the party of Allah demand from you $100 million in gold and... themselves the party of Allah, for Christ's sake. The son of a bitch wants a hundred million dollars in gold and a jet fuel at the ready. So what else is new? Big surprise. They'll never get out alive, not if I can help it. I'll run party of Allah, see what we get. Whatever we get, they gave us 12 hours. I want a chopper ready for liftoff in 10 minutes. Despite a few setbacks, we are four digits away from achieving what they said would be impossible. Oh, baby, I can't stop thinking about all that money. We have them right where we want them now. They have to do everything we say. So, where do you want to go? Paris? Rio? We never decided. That's because every plan is subject to change. What do you mean, baby? Just that. He got away. Check out Gates. Enough is enough. This fucker's got to die. Come on, guys. Let's get him! Corrigan! You are a worthy opponent, but you have done enough damage. Now, you are going to die. But don't worry. We will tell the world of your coward's death. You know, it's a shame you die for no cause, Corridan. But the prophet says, the more people who die for a cause, the stronger that cause shall become.
came up with something on this party of Allah. It's a small Islamic fundamentalist organization out of New York. The FBI has an open file on them, and one of the four members is Joseph Fox. American? No, Arab. His real name is actually Hassan Al-Hazar. So? Well, the organization claims not to have any ties with him anymore and that he dropped out of sight years ago. So what do we got? Some crazy camel driver? Shit! No, he's actually a former petroleum engineer, believe it or not. MIT class of 77. I want an open line to them at all times. You understand? Yes, sir. And nobody talks to this character Falk but me. Yes, sir. General, our ground support's aware of all of the landmines and access points here, here, and here. Yeah, all right. We have to initiate every delay mechanism we can find from the surface. You know, if we gas these guys, they'd be dead in seconds. It won't work. The defense center is a self-contained unit. And even if it weren't, the sensors would pick up the gas in a second. And you can believe that he's prepared for this contingency. Yeah, well, we got no choice then. We'll launch a full airstrike. General, the way that thing is designed, hell, we don't even know if that'll work. I have a suggestion. Well, what is it? The courier. Corrigan is still down there. That is, if he's still alive. Of course he's alive. The son of a bitch is in on it with them. Oh, well, then why is he killing them? It's a setup. He fooled us. It is bothering me a bit that he's not still answering his ham radio. That complex goes 100 feet underground. He could be out of reach. Hell, he could be anywhere down there for all we know. Or he could have his finger on a goddamn launch button for all we know. There might be a way that we can reach him. Here. The hard UHF. Exactly. For communicating after a real airstrike. We could use it as a boost. Emergency broadcast. This is an emergency, isn't it? Fuck! You could be anywhere by now. All right, everybody spoil. You too. to a storage room. Corrigan? Yes, he's inside. OK, we have to get him to the electronics bay. And once he's inside, we can talk him through some basic countermeasures, and we can buy us some time. Our ground force has just penetrated the compound. Those rat bastards will find out who they're dealing with. Yes, sir. Come on, guys, let's go. Let's let it up. Come on, let's go. Red leader, red leader, come in, red leader. Red leader, come in, damn it. Sounds like it's on to plan B.
oddball. I'm gonna turn that place into a fucking crater. Negotiations are over with those scumbags. Retarget. Retargeting. Goodbye, Moscow. Hello, New York. Mrs. Corrigan, I'm in the electronics bay. Great. Okay, now listen very carefully. We have no time. Clear. Now we can negotiate. There's no reason now. Ridiculous. You can play games with the broad, but don't play that shit with me, Fox. I was merely stating that they have no choice now. We have no reason to negotiate. God damn it, let go of me. You're becoming unglued. I'm becoming unglued. Praise be to God, sustainer of worlds. Thank you. 
hell's going on? A system backup has just been initiated. They just took their own computer offline. Find the backup. Find the backup. What the hell is happening? It's called survivors the fittest. Look into it. Corrigan, and right on time. Just doing my job. What now? Well, the backup computer is now storing information. You just bought us a few minutes. And that's all we're gonna need. I'm gonna launch a full-scale airstrike immediately. You can't be serious. This is our last option, Marin. You forgot what almost happened today? Look. Depending on the speed of the computer, that strike may come too late. If Corrigan gets into launch control, then he can abort the mission. I want all communications terminated now, at once. This is Carmichael. Implement the airstrike. You're gonna let him die down there. This is a global emergency. You question the direct order. One more time, little lady, and I'll have you caught, Marshal. Is that understood? Corrigan, listen to me. Carmichael's gonna launch an airstrike. What? Look, you have got to get into launch control and abort the launch manually, or it's all over. Great. Any other good news? Yeah. You've got ten minutes, maybe less. Good luck, Sergeant. Thanks.
Marin, are you out there? Marin, anybody? We can't save him. For God's sake, let me talk to it's him. It's too late. It's not too late if we can get him into large control. Marin, where the hell are you? It's impossible. They're stuck in, and they won't negotiate. The whole thing was a goddamn smokescreen. Marin, anybody? Let me handle it. Barrigan, this is General Carmichael. Your orders are to stand by until further notice. Do you understand? Yes, sir. See on the surface, Gramps. resumed. What now? Air strike in five minutes. Thank you. 
So did you, Sergeant. <laughs> Sergeant. Sergeant Corrigan. Pleasure. And I will do everything I can to see that you get a medal for this. Thanks. But I never wear them. Oh. Well, if there's anything, anything that you need, you just pick up the phone and call Gene Carmichael. Carmichael? Your name sounds real familiar. Huh? Oh, yeah, now I remember. Carmichael. Pleasure Zone novelties. 
The sex doll. Delivered it a couple of days ago. <clears throat> Get him out of here. I'll tell you one thing, Corrigan. Your timing is perfect. <laughs> Good luck.